Hello 3B. Today we are going to talk about singular and plural nouns. So let's review exactly what a noun even is. So I'm going to count to 10 and I want you to look at your neighbor and I want you to tell me what is a noun. Ready? Go. If you said it's a person, place, thing, or idea, or maybe you said something like that, you are correct. So remember, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. It's kind of very similar to when we work on subject versus predicate, right? Our subject is who or what the sentence is about, um, which is typically a noun. That's what we would look for. So it's a person, place, thing, or idea. And then we talked about singular and plural before when we talked about verbs, right? Verb agreements. So singular means just one noun, right? Girl, the girl. But if I say the girls, that means it's plural. That means it's more than one noun. We're talking about two nouns or maybe three, four, five, six. Nonetheless, it's more than one. So let's take a look at this really cool video I found um, that teaches us how to spell certain nouns because their their endings change right when there's more than one so let's take a look hi there can you tell me which word is spelled correctly boxes 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 keep this in mind because we're going to come back to it later in this video we're going to learn about singular nouns and plural nouns that end in s e s and i e s First of all, do you remember what a noun is? A noun is a person, place, animal, or thing. Then what's a singular noun? A singular noun means that there is one of something. A good way to remember this is that the word singular has the word single in it, which means there's only one. What about a plural noun? A plural noun means that there is more than one. A good way to remember this is that the word plural has the word plus hidden in it, which means more. Like in math, when you want to add more, you use the plus sign, right? We're going to look at three rules today to change a singular noun to a plural noun. Rule number one. Add S at the end to make a plural noun. Let's look at a couple of singular nouns. Dog, girl, book, park. So how do you make these singular nouns plural to show that there's more than one? All you have to do is add S. Dogs, girls, books, parks. Easy peasy, right? But hold on a minute, they're the easy ones. Let's look at the next rule. Rule number two, add ES at the end to make a plural noun. Singular nouns that end in S, SS, SH, CH, X, or Z need an ES at the end to become plural. Just think of this weird hissing sound. Now remember the words at the beginning of this video? Boxes, boxes, boxes. Which one is spelled correctly? Box is a word that ends with an X, that hissing sound. So we're going to add ES. It's boxes. Let's make these singular nouns plural then. Bus, kiss. Bush, bench, box, quiz. So, what letters would we end at the end of this sound, this hissing? It's always going to be an E and an S. Because these words end in the hissing sound, they'll have an ES ending to become plural. Are you ready to make these words plural to show that there's more than one? Buses, kisses, bushes, benches, boxes, 
and quizzes. Good job! Now let's look at the final rule we will cover in this video. Rule number three, drop the Y and add I-E-S. Look at this word here, kitty. When the Y follows a consonant, drop the Y and add I-E-S. Just so you know, a consonant is a letter that is not A, E, I, O, or U. Let's take a look at this word, baby. Y follows B. B is a consonant. So let's drop that last letter, Y, and add I, E, S. Babies. We have many babies. Change these singular nouns to plural nouns by dropping the Y and adding I-E-S. Cherry, lady, puppy, party. Are you ready to make them plural? Right, let's do it. Cherry, drop the Y and add I-E-S. Lady, drop the Y and add I-E-S. Puppy, drop the Y and add I-E-S. Party. Drop the Y and add I-E-S. There, we did it. Good job, should we do a little review? What's a singular noun? A singular noun means that there is one of something. Then what's a plural noun? A plural noun means there is more than one thing. Now it's your turn. Can you make these words plural? Which? City, truck, dish. So go ahead and talk to your neighbors really quickly. I'm going to count to 10. What ending would you add to which? Is it S, E, S, or I, E, S? Go. If you said E, S, you are correct. Which is as as remember it makes that weird or sound right? Very good. How about city ending in a Y? Go. If you said I E S, you are correct. It is cities, C I T I E S. You drop the Y, add the I, and an E S. Very good. Truck. Yep, nothing too special about truck. It's a regular CK ending. That's our lovely digraph. And we would just add an S. If you said S, that is correct. And finally, let's do dish. If you said add ES, you are correct. Once again, it has that weird hissing sound. So those are the correct answers there. Now let's do a bit of sorting together. Okay, so the first word I'm going to look at is bench. Bench. And if I didn't know how to say that word, I would finger stretch it. B -e -n -ch. Bench. I should have four fingers up. We've got our lovely diagraph here. CH making one sound of ch. So bench. Bench. I remember it has that weird ch or s sound, so I think it's going to make, it's going to have to turn into E-S benches. We'll see. Let's look at our next word, piano, piano, p, e, p, e, hmm, p, e, a, n, o, piano. That's five letters, hmm. Let me look at that ending. There's nothing special really about it. Doesn't have a Y, doesn't have that hissing sound. So I think it's just gonna be an S. Next, we're looking at cherry, cherry, ch -e -r -e, cherry. Hmm, it ends in a Y automatically. I know I dropped that Y at I E S. That's going here. Video, v id. Ooh, sorry, v id e. Oh, video. Hmm. Doesn't have a hissing sound. Doesn't end in a Y. I think I just have to add the S. Let's look at this next one. Country. Country. C -c 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 -c. 
country hmm, ends in a Y. I got that key letter there at the end. So I know I'm going to get rid of the Y and add the I-E-S. That's going there. And last but not least, Fox. 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 Hmm. It has that sneaky sound at the end. So it's not just a regular S. I'm going to go with E-S. Let's check our work. Correct. 10 out of 10. I am a great third grade student. Now let's do it again. Stereo. Stereo. Doesn't have a funny ending. Doesn't have a Y. I'm going with S. Belief. Once again, does not have a funny ending. What do I mean by funny ending? Doesn't have that X or that S sound or a ch sound. So I think it's going to go with regular S, and it certainly doesn't end in Y. Sketch. Ooh, that has that kind of sneaky sound. I think I'm going to go with ES at the end. Make it sketches. Lady. Lady ends in my key letter Y, so I'm going to drop the Y and add an IES to be ladies. Same here, my word tray. Tray. It has that Y at the end, so I'm going to drop that Y and add I-E-S. And lastly, we've got Barry. Barry, once again, ends in a Y. I'm going to drop that Y and add I-E-S. And let's see. Oh, Miss G made a mistake. Now, who can tell me what mistake I made and why? Does anybody know? So let's talk about why this one is incorrect. So when we look at the word tray, when we look at the word tray, we notice that it's spelled T-R-A-Y, T-R-A-Y. So The word tray is spelled T-R-A-Y. So if a noun ends in Y, it usually turns from an I to an E-S, correct? However, this is important, so pay attention here. Because it's spelled T-R-A-Y, and we've got a double vowel ending here, it does not follow our lovely rule. So, Miss G wasn't the best third grade student because I automatically saw that Y and thought it was going to be I-E-S, right? I mean, that's what we just learned. So I'm teaching you something new here, and that is that if you have a vowel before the Y, so that's A-E-I-O or U, right? It's not going to follow this rule. Of course, what did I tell you guys about the English language? They love to make things tricky. It's not going to follow the rule. And in fact, it's just going to be a regular old word. So we're going to try it again and add just the S and check our work. And that is correct. So let's try this. Peel. Peel. Doesn't have a Y. Doesn't have a X or a Ch or a S sound. I'm just going to add an S. Catch, catch, catch. It has that sound, so I'm going to make sure it's ES. Tax, tax has that X sound, so I think it needs an ES. Tomato, tomato. Huh. I believe that it doesn't have anything at the end to make it have the scorch sound, but this one looks a little weird to me. Now I'm worried about my rules. So I'm going to leave that one there. Study, study, hmm, ends in a Y, not a double vowel. So I believe it's going to go here. All right, baby, baby ends in a vowel, but doesn't have a double vowel, ends in a Y and it's not double vowel, so I believe that's gonna go there. 
Now let's go back to tomato. Let's go back to tomato and take a look at this one. Now, I don't see anything special about it, so I believe it's gonna go here, but let's check. Hmm, why is that incorrect? So, certain words that end in O, once again, the English language is funny, have to add the ES, and that's simply just because it's a rule. So it's almost like a heart word, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because if you remember, we had our example of piano, right? And piano ended in an O, and all we had to do was add an S. However, tomato is like a heart word. Same with an example like hero. Um, both of them have to end in ES to make them plural. Let's double check, and that is correct. So we've got a couple heart words here. We, well, not a couple. We've got one heart word, right? Tomato ends in ES when it's plural, but the rest follow the rules. And then remember, if it's a double vowel, it does not follow the rule, meaning the Y. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to go ahead and practice on your own and turn it in when you are complete.